laboratory equipment. A balance is used to measure mass. Allow hot objects to return to room temperature before weighing. Hot objects on a scale create convection currents that may make the object seem lighter than it is. A burette with stand will dispense an accurate volume of liquid. So here's your liquid and here's your little valve here that lets it out and you have measuring marks all up and down the burette and here's your stand. Beakers. Liquids can be held, mixed, and heated in beakers. Beaker tongs. They pick up beakers and that'll put the beaker inside there and you're holding it here safely just in case the beaker is warm or just to keep your uh, hand away from whatever's inside the beaker. Bunsen burners. They kind of symbolize chem lamps, don't they? They are frequently used as a heat source in the absence of flammable materials. Crucibles will hold chemicals during heating to very high temperatures. And here's the lid that would go on top of it and you put your material in here. A clay triangle will support the crucible during heating. You can picture the crucible sitting on this and below it you have a Bunsen burner. Crucible tongs are used to hold the crucible, especially when it's very hot. Right? Crucible goes down here and your hand is over here, safely away from the heat and the chemicals. Erlenmeyer flask. It holds and mixes chemicals. It has a very small neck compared to the bottom here, and that will help facilitate mixing without spilling. An evaporating dish heats liquids for evaporation. Liquids get poured in here and you put it over a Bunsen burner. Forceps can pick up or hold small objects. Funnels will transfer liquids or fine grain materials into containers that have small openings. They're also used for filtration. A graduated cylinder measures the volume of a liquid with the marks here, probably in milliliters. And depending on how much fluid you have in there, it will measure how much you have. A mortar and pestle crush and grind materials. I'm guessing this is the mortar and this is the pestle. A volumetric pipette measures small amounts of liquid very accurately. So the liquid would come up here and you could measure it. And how do you get the liquid into the volumetric pipette? Well, you have a pipette bulb that sits over here. You squeeze it, create a vacuum, and you suck the liquid up like that or disperse it going the other way. A ring clamp is used with a ring stand to hold glassware such as a beaker or a funnel. So the beaker or funnel would go in here and this would clamp on to your ring stand. You would use a ring clamp on a utility stand here. You'd have your clamp there and then you have this which would hold beakers or whatever. So it holds or clamps laboratory glassware and other equipment in place so they do not fall down or come apart. A scupula tra transfers solids. It's like a little shovel here with the pointed end. A stirring rod stirs and mixes. If it's made out of glass, please be very careful with it. A striker lights a Bunsen burner. You squeeze this here and it puts this little piece of flint across the metal, creates a spark, and if you've got the gas open on your Bunsen burner, it will light it. A test tube holds and supports the mixing of liquids. A test tube clamp holds a test tube, particularly when it's hot. A test tube rack over here holds several test tubes at the same time. A thermometer, digital or alcohol, we don't use mercury thermometers anymore, that will measure temperature in Celsius. Another type of clamp, a utility clamp, that will secure glassware, and it looks like a test tube would fit in very nicely here, to a ring stand or a utility stand. A volumetric flask prepares solutions to a very accurate volume. A wash bottle rinses pieces of glassware and adds small quantities of water. 
A watch glass holds solids while they are being weighed or to cover a beaker. Wire gauze. It supports a container such as a beaker on a ring stand while it is being heated. It may have a fiberglass or ceramic center. Now, how is all this equipment stored and maintained? Well, Laboratory equipment such as analytical balances, spectrophotometers, and pH probe should always be calibrated before being used, and we talked about that earlier. Make sure equipment is clean before use. At the end of every lab, it is important that students always clean up after themselves. Properly clean and wash equipment such as test tubes or flasks that have been exposed to different substances. And glassware should be dry before it is put away.